Today's the day that we're gonna take this old shop fridge right here and try to turn it into something that's worth keeping around. Oh, pizza. It's time to start making the handle, which is going to be made out of walnut. So I have a rough idea of what I want this to look like. So we're just gonna start cutting up some pieces and experiment because I'm not gonna draw it all out because I can't really pull all that information out of my head very well. It's just kind of stuck in there. We're just gonna start cutting and stacking and see what we come up with. So I milled up a whole bunch of different stuff to get these handles prepped. It's boring to watch somebody mill wood, so I didn't I didn't film it. But what get flat, bitch! But what we have here is uh, extra long pieces for the base of the handle that's going to mount flat on the front of the fridge. We'll shape the handle. This will be inlaid like that, and it'll be kind of rounded over and blended in down lower, so it'll have a reveal. But then it'll be kind of curved a little bit, hard to explain, easier to show. So I'll have to do that. Just a quick template that I made up on the computer, just kind of as a rough outline for what I kind of want the handle to look like. So I'm gonna cut this out of quarter inch MDF and then if I like it, I can use it as a template. I like my little template. It seems, it seems grippy, has enough room. I want to be able to grab it easily and not have to like sneak my fingers in there like a, some kind of dummy. I want to find the best way that the grain kind of follows my handle, which I think is going to go like this. Yep. I'm going to trace this out, cut it out. And then after we get them all cut out, we can use this as a template to clean it up on the router. We're all prepped here, got everything clean, wiped the brass down with alcohol. I'm doing these one at a time because I don't need all that stress in my life to try to do two. I don't think I have enough of this five minute epoxy left, but we're gonna find out. Come on. Come on. Seriously? All right, we're gonna call that hopefully enough. I did have enough, too much. Crap, now I'm wasting it. I don't have very much left.
we're gonna try to not only rely on glue, but we're gonna put a few dowels. They're gonna go into the door and the door supports. So repeatedly janking on the handle. Hopefully it'll be good. Using two different size dowels for the sole fact that the little dowel centers I'm gonna to use to transfer the holes, I only have two of each size, so can't really do four. All right, we got our paper down, no overspray. Good dowsing. According to directions, for maximum bond strength, we spray both surfaces, allow to dry to tack approximately one minute, press firmly together. Okay, it's been a minute-ish. Line this up where we want it. Once it's lined up, push down. Four little marks, right there, 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 and there. Oh man, that was aggressive. I'm gonna use the old five minute epoxy because Derek doesn't have no patience. And this stuff does really good at filling gaps, which I probably have a few. Try not to get it around the edges. That'll cause me issues. Try to hold this down. Great. Okay, now we gotta dry. 